If you want to hit my base once or twice, that's fine. I'll hit you once or twice, and uh, we're even. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Battle Cats. And for today's episode, it's Halloween in Battle Cats. My first real holiday event. I'm super excited for this. Not only is there a full stage where we can unlock some kind of Halloween-y cat, but there's also a new Uber event going on. Galaxy Gals is going on. Super tempting, trust me, you guys know I love my boobers, but there's also a bunch of boobers in Halloween capsules. They went real original with the name. We can get Spooky Thundia, Hollow Windy, or Lilith Cat. Now, it's not a guaranteed chance for an Uber, so I'm not gonna be doing an 11 drop, but I do have a single ticket from the Heavenly Tower, and we can hope for Thundia. I think she was the coolest, or, or we can get Dancing Cat. Man. <laughs> Okay, it's hard to be mad at that. I kind of wish they had more than one holiday event going on. Like, once I clear this stage, Halloween pretty much ends in Battle Cat, so that's a little bit disappointing. But we have All Hollows Road, which is six total stages, and we have an extremely small chance of picking up Pump Cat. Oh, I need to see what a Pump Cat is. That sounds absolutely adorable. We're going to start off with Sweet Salmon. Salmon? And it's also timed. We can give 50,000 experience, 10,000 experience, or a cat CPU. I'm fine with that. I need more experience. I haven't forgotten that I still have two Ubers to show you guys, and I haven't gotten around to because I didn't have enough experience and time in the past episodes. And today, I want to make a Halloween episode. Look at this. Oh, that's Pump Cat. <laughs> Why would I expect any different? And Pump Doggo. Okay, this is going to be really cool. I really hope they have a ton of different enemies in this. Little ghostly dog. Oh my god, I just said ghostly dog oats. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so let's get through this first one relatively quickly. I can't imagine this is going to be a very difficult level to start off. Oh no, the boss of many ghost snick and ghost doggo. <laughs> I should have brought giraffe cat with me. I just kind of assumed that they were going to be difficult levels, but like they're holiday levels. They want everybody to be able to beat this kind of thing. And uh, we got the score, yeah, 50,000 experience, make that 60, and it can't CPU, dope. I picked up Giraffe Cat for speed, and now we're moving on to Lantern O'Jack. And by the looks of it, these levels don't cost a lot of energy, which is great, because I definitely want to try one of the daily stages after we're done with this. People have been asking me to try, you know, the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday stage. Apparently, they're really unique. I don't think I've tried them much off camera. I haven't beaten the hardest difficulty, so that should be definitely interesting. But right now, our giraffes have a bunch of ghosts to pound on. <laughs> I really want to get the 100,000 experience for beating this quickly, so I could screw around and have a lot more fun with it, to be perfectly honest. Sending out Ubers to smash them and saving up money and all that kind of stuff, but right now we're just going to mosh. And give me my reward. Yeah, there we go. 100,000 experience and a rich cat and a speed up. All right, this is great. Like, They're not particularly challenging, which makes them kind of boring, but I'm loving the rewards. Cosplay Carnival, and I just realized that I might need to use a treasure radar to actually get this cat. I really hope not. I wish the holiday events would have a 100% chance at the end, but I can't really remember if they do or not. So for now, our giraffe cat... I, I, it's so weird saying giraffe cat. <laughs> it's such an abomination. Of course, it's running across the open field to headbutt a pumpkin doggo. Ooh, okay. We actually got a bit of a challenge here, do we? I thought I was just going to spam my way through this, but now we have some pigeon bats and uh, <laughs> some very angry seals and stuff like that. Oh, you guys aren't going to give me my timed reward, are you? Get out of the way. Get out of the way. I refuse to send out any kind of serious cat. It's going to be a giraffe cat stampede, and you will fall underneath their moshing antlers. I don't know. Feelers? What are those things on the head of a giraffe called? I have no idea. We got a cat ticket. Yes, we got 50,000 experience and we got 20,000 experience. All right, we're getting all these time rewards. Trick or treatment brings us to stage four. And I think it's around about now that I should start taking this seriously because that last level could have given me a little bit of trouble, a bit of a delay. I almost didn't get the time rewards, <laughs> but I don't think I need to be too cautious. I'll just send out one strong cat. Maybe War God would be enough. I would imagine there has to be a bunch of black units in a Halloween. Yeah, there you go. In a Halloween event, you would imagine that that would be the unit that they would lean on the most. So 
If you want to hit my base once or twice, that's fine. I'll hit you once or twice, and uh, we're even. I'm curious, is Ghost a subtype in this game? Like, red alien metal ghost? I don't remember ever seeing an anti-ghost cat. It's probably just a different version of the regular weak vanilla units, but I would love to see more of them. They should be a subunit. Having anti-ghost cats would be dope. <laughs> but now, I'm actually going to take this a little more seriously, like I said, because... Because you're gonna get a giant boss coming out of nowhere, and you never know when. I still can't get over the fact that you guys told me that this isn't a black enemy. How is it not a black enemy? It should be black and red and floating, because it's black and red and floating. I mean, it, it's kind of self-explanatory. It's poor game design. I, I don't agree with it. Did I get all my rewards, though? We got Sniper Cat, we got 80,000 experience, and a cat CPU. There we go. We can take it seriously, crush it, and still get all the rewards. Hello, hello, Halloween. Are you there? I would definitely like one pump cat, please. I know that these are cats that I'm probably never gonna use. Oh, I just realized. Pump cat probably has an evolution. What do you think it would evolve into? I hope it's something crazy. <laughs> I know it's not gonna be like uber level of ridiculous evolution, but I always hope that they're gonna give me some awesome cat that I'm gonna want to use year-round and people are gonna watch one of my videos and be like, why is he playing a game where you send out pumpkin cats in December? Do I have an anti-floating Uber? I honestly don't remember. If I do, I should probably put them in the lineup because it looks like every boss in this stage is gonna be this formerly dressed woodland critter who does a ton of damage and delays my progress. Can you please die? Okay, we got one pushback on him. We're even sending out aliens. That's what I want to see more of in this game, it's just a variety of units coming at you. I want to see aliens and red and black and metal all in the same random stupid stage. <laughs> it doesn't need to make sense. I just want to face off against a lot of cool stuff and hopefully blow it all up. Oh, here we go. And we got some red coming down the line. Um, do I have enough to send out? Nothing really. Okay, Black Cat should be able to get the job done. She's anti-red and anti-alien. Excuse me, Mr. Owl, you're delaying me for my time reward, so you must die. <laughs> I know that you have a lot of places to be with your pumpkin doggos and bat pigeons and alien tentacle doggos, but it's not important to me, really. Honestly, I just want my experience, so please move. Next level, Pump Cat, I am coming for you. You will be mine with your cute little pumpkin face, and I will figure out what you evolve into. And I didn't get the uh, top reward. Damn you, woodland critters! Before we move on to the final stage, let's open up our cat ticket. We got one. I don't really know why, but I'm always happy to open it and hopefully get a uh, dragon. No. Ooh. Worker cat efficiency. That sounds pretty good. So it looks like Warlock and Pierre's first form is anti-floating and anti-alien. So he should be able to help us out against Professor Owlsworth. I don't know the name of any of the enemies in this game. People are always telling me to look them up in a video, but I prefer to name them myself. The formerly dressed woodland critters, Professor Owlsworth, it all works. I also wanted to show you guys that Sexy Legs Cat evolved into Macho Leg Cat for me the other day. I unlocked another level in a regular cat ticket, didn't even realize that it was close to evolving, and then it went and happened. So I'm going to toss them in to show you guys, and uh, I think we should be good to go. I would imagine I can beat whatever they're gonna throw at me, and I only have 133 energy left, so I need to get this done on the first try to refill my energy, and because I'm gonna use a treasure radar to get Pump Cat. It hasn't been too difficult up until this point, right? As long as they don't throw any ridiculous Halloween-y curveballs at me, we should be okay, and then that adorable little gourd cat will be mine. But first, we must murder the Bat Pigeon. The overlap of Macho Legs with Paris is amazing, and there are a lot of bats. Oh, oh, there's a lot of bats here. This is actually a bit of an issue. I didn't even realize. I've been doing my best to send out whatever I... Are you kidding me? I just got smoked. Oh, come on. I honestly don't think I did anything wrong there. That was just a lot of floating enemies that overran me very quickly. So we need some kind of anti-floating that isn't going to be Warlock and Pierre because I'm not going to be able to save up like 6,000. So let's try Kotatsu Cat. It's very effective in winter, not that it matters. Damage from floating enemies greatly reduced, and then it might weaken floating enemies. So I really didn't want to waste a ton of experience evolving a super rare today, but we now have Sadaka. 
Taco Cat. Hidden a TV to scare people for fun. Oh, it's like a ring girl. Was never able to get out. Haunts TV shows now. Resistance to plus might weaken floating. Okay. Yeah, and then you know what? I can put a couple more levels into you. Maybe. Yeah, that, that's, that's probably fine there. We'll give you a try. Screw the treasure radar. We're doing a dry run because I do not want to lose another one. I'm not investing. My only concern is that Sudeiko should be single target, I believe, not area of effect. Oh my god, you're terrifying. Because you move like the sloths and stuff like that. Yeah, there are so many stupid bats that I really need area of effect. Maybe that's why I shouldn't be using macho legs as well. Because you can only hit one bat at a time. Yeah, that, that's probably a good call. So we're just going to get as many Parises out as possible. And then hopefully Sudeiko will kind of act like a meat shield. I mean, if it's taking reduced damage and it's making them weaker, then it's kind of a meat shield. I like that idea. If I can just kill a couple of them to get enough money to send out Warlock and Pierre, then we'll be fine. Oh my god. No. <laughs> They're killing off my stuff. No, no, no. Okay, we got a little bit of money. We're, we're actually killing some of them now? Yes, Sadeko, you're actually doing it. You're making a difference. I did a good thing. There are so many bats. <laughs> I don't know why I call them bats. They're pigeon bats. They're, they're pigeons. They're pats? I'm not 100% sure, but I think Sadeko is doing a good job. Far does it get gun in? Just shoot them out of the air. Okay, they're in manageable sizes now, and I almost have enough money for Warlock and Pierre. Then we might be able to get this done. Just keep whacking away, guys. I don't want to send out any reinforcements. Yes, Warlock and Pierre is coming. Okay, everything should be fine. No, not low battery, not now. Don't mind me, professional YouTuber charging his tablet before recording a video. We're good. We're just waiting for some kind of terrifying boss to come out and ruin our day now. Hello. Uh, oh, oh, uh, black. I, I definitely need War God. There we go. Okay, War God is out. You should be able to take care of all of those otter smack yous. <laughs> we just need to worry about this stupid owl, which Warlock and Pierre should be able to get. Yes, all the black is down. He didn't one-shot him, which is surprising. Oh, what? Did we just get two explosions? Two bosses? That's not fair. Come on, guys. Please, please, Warlock and Pierre, just smash. I can't tell if he's hitting them or not because there's no, like, auditory clue or, or a feedback or anything. But he has to be doing damage right now. I'm pretty sure he has an area of effect as well, so he should be hitting both of the bosses. As long as I keep sending out all of my cats. There we go. He had a whole bunch of stuff there, I'm pretty sure. Uh, what is this? Why are there so many bosses? <laughs> okay, if Warlock and Pierre goes down, we are boned. There is no way that I will be able to beat this right now if he does not get the job done. <laughs> he's not hitting them because he's so far away and he can't hit stupid Black Harambe. Come on. Come on, hit him. There we go, kill one. Nope, just gonna maim them. Not exactly what I need right now. Just gotta meet, oh, meet shield and make sure he doesn't die. That's all that matters right now. If he can kill a couple of them, we well, might be okay. Come on, dude, please. Please, just kill one of them. Oh, no! War God is off cooldown. If we can send him out to kill a couple of the black units, then maybe I can get enough money to send out something that'll help me. Oh, no, he's dead, too. Hmm. These stupid owls hurt so freaking much. They haven't gotten on my base yet, though. If I can get just a little bit of money. Okay, spoke a little bit too soon. Yes, that's some money. Uh, then I can send you out, and you can kill the rest of them. And then we might be able to get another Warlock in Pierre. Please, 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 just just keep hold them back. Hold the line, we're so close right now. <laughs> I don't know why I am so invested in this stupid level. Fire Zikat Cannon, push him back a little bit more. Okay, I'm so close to having enough money for another Warlock in Pierre. I just need to kill like one unit. Please, please, please. I might need to send out another war god. If I can't. It's on cooldown. No, don't touch my base. Don't touch my base. Warlock and Pierce say, oh, come on. There is no way. No chance I can beat this. Boss was 20%. Are you kidding me? How did these levels go from being so easy that I'm spamming giraffes and barely trying or thinking about the units I send out to tailoring my loadout and still not being able to beat it after multiple attempts and bringing anti-floating and... 
I'm I'm dumbfounded. So I, I still want to get Pump Cat, which means I'm probably just gonna go back a couple of stages to around about here and toss on a treasure radar because I can technically get it anywhere. It just hurts my pride. I would like my Pump Cat now, please. Right? Yeah, unlocked a rare cat, Pump Cat. <laughs> So it only cost me two full rounds of energy and two treasure radars, and it's probably going to be useless, but we got it. Pump Cat, a mischievous cat who hid inside a carved autumn squash, lives to startle unsuspecting passersby. And I'm guessing you are going to cost a lot to evolve, and I probably won't have enough to do with this episode. That is so disappointing, I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, I clearly can't end the episode there, so we're gonna finish off doing one random levels of Stories of Legend so that I can actually use Pumpcat, and it looks like he's a meat shield. Cost 90, you can spam him, and he's adorable. I wonder if I can beat this entire level with nothing but Pumpcats. I don't know if they're strong. I would imagine they're not, especially because I only have them at, like, level 8. <laughs> no, they're getting wiped out by snakes. Okay, can you guys maybe go out and help a little bit? We're gonna be spooky. We have, uh, floating women cats. They're pretty terrifying. I just love how colorful they are, to be perfectly honest. Like, I, I wish they would make more colored units in this game. That's one thing that really bothers me, is that the black and white, you know, it kind of suits some of them, especially some of the base cats and stuff like that, but... Having like a really cool uber or this giant dragon or something like that and it's all like black and white and low resolution, it's kind of disappointing. And then you get something like Pumpkin Cat and he's just this little orange pile of delight that likes to spook people. Okay, I've had my fun. You guys can get out of the way now. Pump Cat has things to do. There we go. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Battle Cats, guys, and I apologize that it's been a while since the last episode. I've been getting a lot of comments from people asking, you know, what happened to Battle Cats? And you don't need to worry about it ending. If I ever give up on the game, I'll make it very clear, but I've had a lot of grinding to do in between episodes. I mean, I need to get enough experience to show you guys two new Ubers. I want to finish Into the Future. I want to finish Stories of Legend. I wanted to show you guys the Halloween stuff. There's just a whole lot going on with this game, and it means that I have a lot of videos planned out, and I have a lot of stuff to do, so so it's a bit of a time investment, but I will get around to it. I'll try to get back to making an episode every week, and then hopefully they'll go a little bit smoother than this one did. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.